Alright guys, so let's finish up the trunk real quick. Now before we, I think all we're left with is solidifying it, but before we do that, you, when you take a look down here, you can see there's some kind of a circular um, hole over there, just a tiny bit of it, dipped inside just a little bit, as much as this side over here. And I'm trying to find a reference image to show us what is actually going on there, but I haven't had any like any luck finding any so what we're gonna do is let's just try to create a circle in the middle there and dip it in just as much as this one to make it look almost like it so let's get in here I'm gonna take all of this press shift and S and choose Kessa to select it and well let's see the base of the circle is about in the middle of the tail light here so what we're gonna do is uh, let me see so it's about in the middle of the tail light here so let's see maybe we can use this line right here but I'm just gonna slide it up a little bit to about the center about here like this and let me see let me take this one and let me slide it down a little bit so to about here alright now let's add in the circle no hold on before we do that actually let me see okay first of all let's add in the circle okay let's scale this down and try to see how big we want the circle to be so let me just move this in the y axis pull it down let's just see how big we want it to be I don't know, it's pretty small, or pretty big, I'm not sure. So let me just pull it down. The end is at where these this uh, vertex lies, so let's place it right on top of it like that. So I think the circle or the hole could be something small like this. So if that is the case, then the vertices we're going to be deleting. Let me just, let me select our vertex Then let me pull it down here. The vertices we're going to be deleting is these ones here. So we'll delete those vertices, and we have the nice area. Okay, it's quite visible in the blueprint. I didn't know it was. So let's just match it with the blueprint over here. Instead of... Yeah, so let's just match it with the blueprint like that. So it's matching now. I didn't know it was in the blueprint, but it, it's actually there. So that is good. Alright, so with that done, let's take a look at how much vertices we have. We have... Uh, um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, right here. So we have 14 vertices. So let's get rid of this circle here. Oh, let me just press shift and S, choose Kessa to select it before deleting it. And I'm going to add in a circle. We're going to change the number of vertices to 14. The same amount as the ones on the inside. And let's scale this down to about the size of it like that. Now I'm going to take the ones outside as well and press W and choose bridge edge loops. Where is it? No, I'm in space. And type in bridge. And select bridge edge loops like that. So let me just press N. Let me re-enable this thing real quick. So you can see what we have right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide things around to kind of match up the whole thing. And take this, pull it over here just a little bit. Take all of this, pull it in there a little bit like that. I'll just slide this down a little bit and slowly back here. Do the same thing with this side. Over here like this. Let me take this and okay, we'll keep it like that. All I'm going to do is we're going to take this one, let's go into the object data buttons and assign it to the vertex group right, right there. And all I'm going to do as well, let's just zoom in here, let's pull it in the Y axis back to fall close to the surface while it's shrink wrapping onto like that. So that is good. Let's get back to the back view. I'm going to scale this up a little bit and you know what we're going to do? We're going to fill the faces. I'm going to press I to insert the faces like this to get uh, uh, some uh, vertices around it like that and delete the faces on the middle like that okay so that is looking good I'm gonna take it again and I'm gonna assign it like that so let's just make this look much more nicer than what we currently have it's looking a bit weird I'm just gonna move things around to make it look much better like that so you can see what I'm doing right now let me pull this down a little bit. Pull this here, pull this here, pull this back, pull this down, pull it back, down, pull this down. So basically, just arranging this so it looks much rounder and nicer around the circle like that. So that is looking good. That is looking good. But now we have stretched faces over here, but I don't think that will be a problem. So just keep things there. Let's just try to make make these ones mellow out and uh kind of make the spacing equal on this side so like this that is really not going to cause any problems because we have a 
a um, shrink wrap enabled so it will take care of everything else now let's get back in here here's what we're going to do first let's go into the uh, what do you call it the modifiers button and let's copy the shrink wrap and apply it in, like that so that will push all the vertices here onto the foot um, onto the surface for us like that so now let's create that dip in there so let me go into wireframe i'm going to press f and let's just insert the face a little bit like that and we're going to pull it we're going to pull it in a y axis no we're going to pull it in a y axis a little bit and let's go in here to the object data buttons where is it yeah and remove it from the vertex group like that so i'm just going to pull it back a little bit i'm getting to wireframe see how far deep it is all right i don't know maybe i should go much deeper just a little bit more deeper like that and i'm going to insert the face again a little bit like that insert it again a little bit like that and then with that done we're going to press ctrl and t to uh, fill it in like this and i think alt and j to sort of uh, create quads where it can to you know make things look a little bit more better so yeah now that is what we have what we're going to do now we're going to press or we can just leave it like that i mean it's looking good so yeah let's leave it like that all right so let's solidify this real quick and we'll call this video done uh, let's get in here let's add in a solidify modifier this shouldn't be too difficult so like that nice so i think we were using 0 0.035 if i was right no 0 0.0035 yeah like that so yeah that is looking good it's looking really good I think it's looking good all around. We don't have any problem anywhere. Nice. Okay, this is looking great. So what I want to do is I'm going to, or maybe I should just, should just leave it as is. We shouldn't apply it because I'm not going to be deleting phases on the inside. I'm going to keep it this way because I want to be creating the interior. So I need a full metal to be showing in case I create the covers and then some parts of it are showing around it. So I'm going to keep it like this. So, but if you want, you, if you don't need all those vertices in the middle, you could just uh, apply it as only rim. Apply the solidify two times as an only rim, and uh, yeah, it will give you what you need. All right. So I think that will be it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Just making sure. Everything looks great all around, and I think it does. Yeah, it does. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. That's it though, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Nothing else? Nope. Alright, so in the next video, we'll start working on, I think, the front bumper, or we'll just create this thing over here, try to finish it. Or we'll start working on the roof area, try to create this thing that goes around the car, like that. So whatever it is, I'll let you guys know in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.